At this point, it's becoming more apparent that modern millennial women have completely lost their minds. Ebony K. Williams is 40 years old. I will put her on the older millennial side, but she wasted a lot of her younger years shoplifting from the mall so she could get clothes and shoes and pretend like she had it like that. Attempting to get white men to like her, but they all kicked her to the curb because she's inherently obnoxious and impossible to get along with. So she's been faking it until she made it, chasing a lifestyle. Remember, she told Ayala she wouldn't date a bus driver. How we can create and not build when some of us, quite frankly, feel that the men that are available to us, and I'm talking about across the color spectrum, across the age spectrum, trust me, I've done them all, um, they are not positioned to protect nor provide because of some of the statistics we just talked about. They're not earning the incomes. They're not having the resources, and some of them are not even showing up in the leadership. Would you date a bus driver? You, would you date if a bus driver? If he owns the bus. If he owns no. it, if he owns the bus, See, he that's owns a problem. It. That's a problem. That's a problem okay. because the standards and requisites, and I'm not talking about him laying on his sofa playing video games all day. <laughs> I'm not talking about mm -hmm. that. But the standards and the criteria that we use to measure men is off for who mm -hmm. we are as women and who they are in this society. I would date a bus driver mm -hmm. if he was, if he loved driving the bus. If he was a man of integrity, if he was good to his mama, if he treated me well, I would date a bus driver. But we think that it's another human being's responsibility to give us what we need instead of us building together. Ebony K. Williams got some random sperm donor from the donation bank and now she's pregnant. Unbelievable. The same woman who was supposedly so high class and couldn't date a bus driver picked out some random DNA from a possible homeless man or a possible let me powder my nose baser. Because I'm sorry, any man standing in line to donate DNA for $100, $200 gotta be living a real tough, low, broke life. Either that or he's a mental nutcase. Chances are he's both. Most of them need the money, just like people going to donate plasma. Everybody knows when you go up there to donate the plasma, you gotta be on your last $20 bill, your last tank of gas, your last piece of bread, your last piece of air, water, electricity, whatever. Rich people don't show up to no plasma bank or no sperm bank on a normal Monday clocking in like it's a job donating for cash. So yeah, no different from where Ebony went to. Same process. And what's even more silly about this is this woman gloating about the whole experience with People Magazine, you know, like she's conquering the world. It's embarrassing enough to go through this situation, but it's outright humiliating to do this to yourself and put yourself on the jumbo trying to have all of us in your business on purpose for clout. It's very sad, but true. These flamingos will do anything for clout, even get a baby from the DNA of a junkie. We have to really get into this today, but first, take a second to make sure you're subscribed to the channel and click the notification bell for all updates. Young ladies, listen up. This one is for you. I'm here to let you know this is not normal, no matter how much society is trying to push this weird narrative 1000% out of order. Okay, so, Ebony K. Williams is trying to find a way to get everybody to talk about her and get some attention. She's broadcasting all of her dumb personal decisions for people to comment on and try to wiggle her way back to the breakfast club. Ever since the bus driver thing, she's been itching to go viral again. This sick, egotistical witch decided she was going to craft up a baby on her own and voluntarily become a single mother because she believes she can raise a child alone and she's got the money to do it. It's funny, we're talking about the same group that supposedly educated the public preaching that money wasn't enough for a child. Every time a father said he provided for his child monetarily, they would argue that he could still be a deadbeat and label those men as such. Many argue that it's true that money isn't enough to raise a child. The child has to have the guidance of not just a mother, but they need the leadership of a father as well. You know, balance. Something once prevalent in society before the strong black and independent I don't need a man to raise no child, serial baby mamas of 1986 popped up. I'm talking about before it became a norm, especially in the black community, for children to be raised in a single parent household led by women. Now, single mothers end up in that situation for many different reasons. But never have I ever seen so many women choosing that life for themselves and resorting to pick up strange mystery DNA. I'm sorry, this is a new level of pathetic and I don't care how much they try to make this normal, this is weird. 
and very selfish too. Just because you want to be a parent doesn't mean you should be. Doesn't mean you're qualified to be. All women should not reproduce. And on the other end, all men should not reproduce. It's a lot of y'all running around men and women trying to make another you. You're doing the world a disservice. The planet is struggling enough with you. We don't need you times two. Reproduce some more failure, more confusion, more foolishness. One thing I can say about Vivica Fox, she knew she wasn't a woman for a real relationship, for real structure. She knew that already. At least she wasn't this selfish like Ebony to go out and create a whole human being and drag them along with her. I give Vivica that because what Ebony is doing is worse. It's absolutely crazy. Being a parent isn't about you. It's about who, ladies and gents? That's right. It's about the children. Once you bring a child into this world, and until you fully raise them to go into the world alone, your life is not your own. It's no longer about you and what you want. There are certain decisions and things you have to do for that child that you're now responsible for. And just because Ebony was too combative to get along with a man, she couldn't attract or keep a man of high quality, the men she wanted didn't want her, this is how you end up in this situation. Let's face it, all the white men said they didn't want anything to do with her anymore, so she decided she didn't need a man at all. Well, this will be fine if she just stayed alone and left everybody out of it. She's not only involving a child now, but she's broadcasting this to everybody. And just because she didn't need a man, doesn't mean that child doesn't need one. The way she's parading this crazy story around with People Magazine talking about an exclusive, showing she's having a baby from some mystery mayonnaise, this is just a whole new level of mentally deranged. Then attempting to push this narrative to other black women to get on board and do the same thing is just outright despicable. Literally doing the devil's work. Well, Ebony K. Williams, she's having a girl, again reproducing another her. Just think of the strong masculine woman Ebony's mother raised. Now Ebony is trying to continue the tradition. Absolutely crazy. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started. Ebony, she's been pushing black this and black that for a couple of years now. How many of you want to bet her mystery DNA didn't come from a black man? Tell me what you think about this below. Special thank you to Starlet. I appreciate you, Starlet, for all of your support, as well as our brother Dark Power and Lady T. Don't forget that you can support this channel as well. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis? Want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share. Would you date a bus driver? You. Would you date if a bus If he owns driver? the bus. If he owns no. it. If he owns the bus. See, that's the problem.